Now you have created your animation and also exported it as a Lottie or you might have downloaded one of the free ones from Lottie files and then edited it to fit your needs. Now you have an asset, but you want to use that in your prototype as well because in UX design, prototype is very important because it shows you things in context. How do you do that? It's simple. If you're a Figma user, we have got you covered. There's a Lottie Files plugin for Figma as well. You can download it free from the Figma plugin store. And after installing, you will find it under plugins here in Lottie Files. This is the plugin. And all that you need to do is just drag and drop your Lottie here. Let me go ahead and do that. So I have the same Twitter-like animation, the .json file, which I had. I will drag and drop it here in Figma. It immediately starts showing me the preview. Now here's the thing, Figma doesn't support Lottie yet. So what the plugin does is it converts your Lottie into a GIF so that you can momentarily use it inside Figma and show it as a part of your Figma prototypes. So you can do that by clicking on this button, convert to GIF. And when you click on it, it takes a while to convert that Lottie into a GIF and you can insert it in your artboard here in Figma. Here it's done and all that I need to do is add to Figma. This is actually a GIF. That's why you'll see it's not a vector anymore. So you would see it pixelated because like I said, it just converts a Lottie into a GIF and now I can click on add to Figma. And the moment I do it, this is a GIF. Of course, it's too big for the screen of 360p because I had it, I designed it big that way. You can of course make it small and you know, imagine you have your UI and you can place it wherever you wish to. But for the sake of this demo, let me keep it big so that you see what is happening. So you see this video icon here, which suggests that this is a GIF. And when you click on this preview, which is nothing but the prototyping mode of Figma, you will see it playing. Now, it continuously loops, the reason being this is a GIF and you cannot control certain things in a GIF, but it's good for a prototype. Maybe it just works if you want to see things in context. So using this plugin, the Figma plugin of Lottie files, you can not only convert your Lotties, you can also see the previews of all the things that you have previewed in the Lottie files website. Of course, you need to be logged in for that. You see, I'm already logged in out here. So when I click on the previews tab, it shows me all the things that I have previewed recently and I can directly click on something and bring them here. Or alternately, I can also search for the Lotties which are created by public and I can click and bring them to my Figma prototype. But again, the constraint remains same. When you embed them inside Figma, they're not Lottie. They do not have the vector properties which Lottie usually has, but they are converted to GIFs, but it's good for a preview anyways.